found you. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Break time's up. A package from Norman Osborne? I think it's time to put on my favorite suit. I'm joking, it's so hard to determine like what my favorite suit is. I'm glad they brought the suit back. This is one of my favorites. I wish they brought back like the Iron Spider suit, the the silver and black one. That one was so cool. Yeah, we'll just put this suit on. It is one of my favorites. Oh, right. What could Norman have uh, dropped off to us? Oh, God. You'll dip into the stratosphere. Oh. At the very end of it, at least. Ah. Uh, it's been a while since I've heard that name. Name. Noise. I went from a whole building to a garage. What's this? Harry wanted you to have this. So I need one of each. Interesting. I don't know. Let's put you right there. We need a one. We need a two. A three. Oh, there goes that. Any other ones? Nope. All right. What about going the other way? Do you have you? There's another three and two. I 
I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new foundation. Just me and you. Scratch. Go us. Go us? Oh. One last thing. I got a little something for you. Where could it help? Look at it. What kind of suit is this? Kit it out. Oh yeah, because it's the last suit. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I was about to say, yeah, just like before, it's probably got other combinations. Oh, it's a reverse. Of course. The change it's fresh and clean. A new day for this world. Staring down the face of the apocalypse offers a new perspective on life. Time to let go of old grievances. Rearrange priorities. While the world waited with bated breath to see if they would be next. New York stood tall and held the line. We did not acquiesce. After we take a moment to celebrate the freedom we fought so hard to retain, we must then turn our sights to the people responsible for putting us in harm's way to begin with. I'm talking about Oscorp and, of course, the Spider. You're going to hear a lot of conflicting reports and lies surrounding the events of last week. But let me assure you, this is still just the facts here. So let's lay them out. Spider-Man was seen wearing a black suit. Then a monster appears wearing a similar suit. Then our proud city is overrun by similar monsters. Oscorp is claiming it's Spider-Man's fault for stealing Oscorp the search. That doesn't surprise me. But Oscorp needs to be held accountable for creating these damn creatures in the first place. This is what happens when corporations try to play God and individuals overreach. Of course, hoping for legal ramifications for wrongdoers is like hoping for an ice cream shop in the desert. We must not forget where the blame lies. We can't forgive evil. But for now, enjoy life. We're lucky to have it. Oh, it's just a lot less comedic flair to Jamison's stuff in this game. It's just the Vax thing. Like, I don't know. There's like less comedic flair to it, which is a shame. Also, I don't love this outfit, but I can't say I hate it. Oh, why? Stay inside, everyone. I won't let anything happen to you. Okay, we're... I was not expecting... Okay, well, that was rude. Okay, rude. Where are you guys even coming from? I love the fresh smell of pressing circle in the morning and not getting the results. Everyone all right? Just to be safe, I recommend going home as soon as you can. That was close. Thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> I will say, it seems like the three antagonists they've set up for Spider-Man 3 are the Green Goblin with the G-Serum stuff. Then you have Carnage with the Flame DLC where Cletus Cassidy walked away with a sample. And Chameleon, 
who shows up like twice in this entire game. And not only that, maybe the reemergence of Dr. Octopus seems like it's on the table. Norman could get desperate enough to bust him out to recreate a new Sinister Six, which obviously wouldn't include the Prowler because he's retired. It wouldn't include Mr. Negative because he's, well, no longer a villain, quite frankly. Rhino's still a possibility because he's not confirmed to be dead. Um, I'm trying to think of who else there is. I mean, obviously Sandman's not dead either, but he's also a bit gray. I don't see him as the type to just become bad. There's the bus. Gotta save those people from the symbiotes. Um, oh, that wasn't what I was expecting it to be. Ripping them out, baby. Don't you game. This game hates me. It won't let it won't let me web yank him. Why wouldn't you let me web yank them, game? Oh, it's a press square thing. Nice. But either way. Oh, yeah, and Kingpin. Kingpin could always come back, he's just in prison. Hammerhead, maybe. Black Hat's not out of the picture, but she'd obviously never join a Sinister Six. She's a bit of a gray area superhero. Oh. Okay. Let's see how it is, game. But either way, I mean, I can't deny they did a much better job with boss fights in this game compared to the first one. I'd probably say the lizard was my favorite boss fight. No offense to Cravens. Ooh, maybe Venom versus Craven. That was a really good one. I really enjoyed that one. The final Venom fight was like really neat, but uh, I feel like it it dragged in the same way that Doc Ox felt too short. I felt like Venom's was too long. And there wasn't enough like set piece breather in between the two fights, Pete and Venom's and then Miles and Venoms. Plus my whole lack of awareness and parrying also ruined that fight for me a little. 
Either way, I think that's going to be it for the series until they maybe come out with DLC. If they come out with DLC for this game. Until then, that'll probably be it for Spider-Man 2. Hope you have a great day. Remember, you can be the best you you can possibly be. And heal the world in your own non-destructive ways. Please and thank you. Also, don't listen to J. Jonah Jameson. Ta-ta. For now.